think one of the major trends that we're seeing in loyalty commerce at the moment is that the airline digital commerce strategy that exists and that of the loyalty commerce strategy are no longer decoupled. Loyalty is a servant to the airline um, and as airline strategies develop, the loyalty strategies have to develop. I think airlines increasingly realise that they're sitting on this asset that they can really exploit to create a lot of additional value for the airline. And airlines, like any other business, are trying to differentiate themselves. I think loyalty offers a unique opportunity because of the underlying characteristics of loyalty programs. They're very data-driven, they're scalable, they're asset light, um, they offer a great degree of control. It makes it almost like a mini, a mini digital disruptor in the airline. What a loyalty program adds to this journey that airlines are going for in the search for differentiation is it creates a real basis to have a relationship with the customer. So you're actually now dealing with a consumer who's much more knowledgeable than they've ever been before. And I think those consumers have an expectation of value from a loyalty program. Access to a set of products and a set of suppliers um, that require the loyalty commerce platform to enrich the experience and connect to a much greater set of products and services than they've ever done before. So the airline of the future probably looks like a highly merchandised, um, highly e-commerce based operation, something like a retailer. Allow the users to set up unlimited set of products, to import product catalogues from external providers or to connect out to any third party content. And by allowing the creation of this ecosystem, what you can do is bring in a wide variety of content back to the user. From an offer optimization perspective, have a set of capabilities within your loyalty commerce platform that allows you to really compete and differentiate. Airlines will have such great access to data of their consumers and their members that they'll be able to pinpoint exactly what it is that a certain member wants. And I think the capability that allows you to do that is to be able to contextualize your merchandising offers, and whether that be true segmentation or personalization. Bringing that to bear in, a, in, a, in an omni-channel solution, making it really relevant and easy for the member, I think that's the way forward. It means that the, the customer's experience is enhanced by offering the best products back to the user in a, in a retailing experience. The choice that you want to give your customers, taking advantage of that fantastic asset, will be absolutely fundamental to achieving differentiation and long-term profitability.